Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Lecture 85. So we have discussed last time about the human transfer and the bioelectric transfer. Now we we'll look into when the in the human transfer the maximum impulse will be required under what condition. So this we are going to derive, but I will not do the complete derivation. Uh, I will give you the idea, and rest of the materials I will provide as the written material, uh, typed material for this particular part. Okay, and there after we will look when the bioelectric transfer. and the human transfer they will be equivalent that means in both of them the same energy will be required and uh, then i will show you graphs for graphs i will have to download the material and show you here okay so for that uh, it will take little time because uh, i do not want to interfere while uh, presenting it here so uh, let me see how to proceed so we uh, start here Okay, so for uh, our convenience, I have just uh, written from the previous lecture. This is the total velo uh, impulse required in the human transfer. So at A, the delta V A is required, which I have written here, and at G, delta V B is required, which I have written here. Okay, and what is N? N is the quantity R F by R I, where I A is the inner orbit radius and f is the outer orbit radius here in this case and this quantity is greater than 1 for this particular it may happen that you are going from the inner to the outer to the inner orbit that means we are going the opposite way from here we are starting and going to this point this also uh, either going from inner to outer outer to inner and uh, depending on the situation if we are going from the uh, outer to the inner orbit so at that time rf becomes your the initial orbit so instead of writing this as rf then this will be replaced by ri okay and this will be replaced by rf so this is the thing that we need to do okay what n always indicates rf by ri in our derivation this we have to maintain okay and this ratio will change only once rf is smaller and ri is larger that means n will be less than 1 okay so irrespective of that this result whatever we have derived it remains valid it does not depend on that so somewhere you have to reduce the velocity so in that case what you will do then if it is not positive then at that time you take the magnitude of this okay so that will give you the proper result or either you work out from the scratch and then do your calculation so that delta v and delta vv appears to be positive in all those places okay now starting with this i would like to write this quantity as a and this quantity when this will be maximum so for this it's a required that this quantity should be for extremum value this quantity should be zero because this is only if a is a function of n here and once we differentiate this we get the result so we need to differentiate this quantity on the right hand side so this exercise i am not going to do because uh, i am going to give the material okay it's a common differentiation you have to do the uh, here and after that what you get as the final result uh, that i am going to write in this place 
first we do not have that much of time the lecture uh, already we have uh, the 85th lecture is going while only 60 lectures were scheduled. So, 25 lectures already we have exceeded. Okay, so, if you differentiate rearrange and all those things which I am going to give you the written material. Okay. So, this gives you n cube minus 15 n square minus 9 n minus 1 this equal to 0 and if you solve. So, n you will get the value n equal to 15.58176 and then uh, minus 0 0.4338 and minus 0 0.1480. So, let us write this as n 1, this is n 2 and this is as n 3. So, these are two are impossible. Why? Because n cannot be this is the ratio of two positive quantities. So, it cannot be negative. So, this is your solution. So, for n equal to 15.58 around for this value that means, the ratio of the outer orbit and the inner orbit when this is 15.58 and then again this has to be checked see this is only the extremum check and whether this is the maximum that needs to be checked by deriving d a square by d n a square. And for maximum this quantity should turn out to be less than 0 for this is for maximum. Okay, so, with this we get the extremum or the maximum impulse required when n equal to 15.58. Rest other will be less than corresponding to this value. So, delta v if we plot it and n we plot here in this place, we will see that this graph looks like this. I will show you this graph later on. It goes like this. So, somewhere you get here your maxima which corresponds to n equal to 15.58. And how do we get this curve? We get this curve by plotting this delta v as we have written here this whole thing has to be coded and giving different values of n calculating this delta v here delta v home and transfer and we need to plot for different values of n. So, you change from n equal to 1 to say 100 or 60 whatever and plot it. So, you will get this result and this maximum then it is a taking place here in this place which corresponds to 15 point uh, this is 15.58 we have written here. And one thing here we have missed out which is V i c. This is V i c is missing here that we need to write. So, on this side we should write here rather V i c or v which is the initial velocity delta V a by V i delta V v by V i. we derived it from the circular orbit and that is why if I have given this notation this c as I stated earlier also. So, to state uh, for n lying between 0 and 11.94 Omen transfer is superior to bi elliptic transfer.
you may be wondering from where we are getting this quantity shortly we will see that for n lying between 11.94 and uh, between 15 point what we have derived here 15.58 it is a not clear which one is superior not clear which one is superior some other test is required for n greater than 15.58 by elliptic transfer may be superior this is may be ok this word is important may be superior only if very large intermediate orbit is used. So, in that condition we get the bioelectric transfer to be better and this is the reason I earlier I have stated whether the human transfer is always superior to other transfer it is a no, okay. but in certain range human transfer is superior in terms of the impulse required which is definitely representation of energy how much energy you are spending in terms of propellant. Okay. Okay, next we uh, look for when this human transfer and the bioelectric transfer they will match they will coincide for what value of n. So, the next question is what value of n and so in terms of delta v delta v required in both the cases will be the same this is what we are looking for. So, already we have written delta v by v i c in the Hohmann transfer this is Hohmann and this part we have written as um, from the previous thing here 2 n divided by 1 plus n 2 n divided by n plus n under root minus 1 and then plus 1 by n under root minus 1 minus 2 divided by n times n plus 1 n plus 1 under root. So, this is in the Hohmann transfer. In the bioelectric transfer, we have got very complex result, ok. A long equation we have got, but if we choose here for this one n star to be infinity that means the intermediate radius uh, intermediate transfer orbit is lying at infinity. So, the case gets simplified and that case what we have got 
delta this these are all v i c. So, uh, we have got in terms of uh, I will write it here for the delta v by delta v divided by v i c in case of bi elliptic we wrote it as v i c. So, v i c I am transferring here root 2 minus 1 and then 1 by root n times root 2 minus 1 this is what we have got. So, this thing we can bring here and work it out that means, this is root 2 minus 1 times 1 plus 1 by root n. So, let us write this root 2 minus 1 by 1 plus root n this is and here in bracket we write limiting bi elliptic case limiting bi elliptic case. So, limiting bi elliptic case and the home and transfer case we want to compare this and when this two will be equal. So, when bi elliptic transfer and home and transfer. So, bi elliptic transfer limiting case limiting case when this will be uh, those uh, these two will cross each other ok they will have a common solution. So, if we look for this then we need to compute this quantity or first let us write this as delta v by v i c home n this equal to delta v divided by v i c by elliptic with limiting case plus limiting and doing this means we have to solve this equation 1 by root n minus 2 divided by n times n plus 1 under root equal to root 2 minus 1 1 plus 1 by root n. This we need to solve. So, again the solution of this I will be providing you to save time not to extend too many lectures I am just escaping some of the mathematical details which you can do yourself because it is a very simple calculus 12th standard calculus involved and there is no other complexity only the equation you need to solve there is no concept the physical concept involved after this and therefore, I am avoiding doing anything at this stage. So, this we need to solve. And once we solve this, so if we get the equation in this format n q, this is a polynomial of degree 3 and if we solve this we get n equal to 11.93 So, you can see that 11.94 we have written here the same thing is appearing here 11.93876 and this will write as n 1. So, these are the roots of this polynomial n 2 will be 0 And you can do it on the MATLAB if you uh, use this expression uh, roots define C as 1. If you have MATLAB, you can do it minus 7 plus 4 root 2 and uh, 3 plus 4 root 2, these are semicolons, and then minus 1 and then bracket closed and then here if you write c. So, it will list you all these polynomials uh, roots of this polynomials. So, this implies that these two uh, 
methods the bioleptic and the human they cross each other at the point n 1 equal to 11.93876 means approximately this is 11.94 as I have written earlier. So, if we write here delta v n on this axis. So, this is for the human transfer which is only dependent on n, but here in this case for the bioleptic transfer it is a dependent on n star also. So, n star here in this bioleptic case we have already chosen. So, this is the limiting case we are writing here n star equal to infinity. Okay. So, for this it is a defined. So, for that case this curve will come like this. Okay, so, you can see that wherever it cuts that point will be 11.94. So, this is for bioleptic. So, from this figure you can see that delta v which is in kilometer per second and n is a non dimensional quantity. So, delta v here in this case of bioleptic it is a lesser and as we go it achieves a maximum here the maximum amount of impulse required for transfer and thereafter again reduces, but the bioleptic transfer it goes like this. Okay. So, if the intermediate orbit is very very large or it is infinite which is not practical in that case. Uh, okay. So, uh, so here in this case this n star this equal to infinity. So, in that case your human transfer will not be that superior as compared to the bioleptic transfer after this 11.94 and between this range. Okay. So, in this range which will be better this you need to explore, but here we can see that this is coming down. So, that means for n star equal to infinity the bioleptic is superior after this, okay. but what about the other n star n star equal to infinity does not have any meaning this is useless case because you cannot send your satellite to infinity and then from there this will come back. Okay. So, this case is of no use. So, whatever is of use. So, those cases we need to explore. So, for the other cases it may appear something like this. It goes like this it may go like this and thereafter it crosses like this for other n star values. Okay, so, then you can see that the human transfer is here better, bioleptic is not better, but here bioleptic is better, human transfer is lying up. Okay, so, it depends on the value of n and n star which is going to be better, but for n star equal to infinity which is just theoretically interesting your bioleptic transfer turns out to be better than the human transfer, but not for all values only after 11.94, uh, only after this value this is going to be theoretically interesting, but not of any practical interest. Okay, so, for that uh, I have a figure here and uh, for this I want to show on the uh, show you as the slide. Okay, uh, now, let us look into the graph which is shown here I have uh, done this on computer. So, uh, as visual from the graph this is here it is written in terms of r star. So, r star is your nothing but in our case we have written this as n star and r which was written here r is nothing but in our case this equal to n. The different symbol let us use delta v is on the left hand side plotted and n is plotted here on this side. This is your the solid line as it is shown here the solid line stands for human transfer. So, this is for human transfer okay. and dotted lines are for the bioleptic transfer. Now, out of that the first I have done for 15.58. So, 15.58 what is that value that con that is corresponding to the value where the uh, human transfer is the getting the maximum. Okay. So, uh, sorry uh, for 15 point n equal to 15.58. So, 
somewhere it will lie here okay 15.58 on the right hand side little bit so it goes from this place somewhere here you get the maximum value for the homan transfer if you look here on this side now how delta v we have calculated this delta v actually this is delta v was calculated for a grazing orbit grazing orbit what does it mean grazing orbit means this is the radius of earth hari okay and for that it's a hypothetical orbit so this is the radius of the earth and the satellite is moving just in this this is called the grazing orbit that means it's a moving on the surface of the earth which is obviously assuming that earth is total mass is concentrated just at the center and the surface is not present so this we call as the grazing orbit and for grazing orbit somewhere i have noted this uh, value for v so v turns out to be the v in the grazing orbit which we write as vg this is around 7.91 or 905 kilometers per second this is the velocity of the satellite okay so in context of this everything is defined so from this orbit you want to go to the higher orbit okay all your orbits are outside this okay and from here then we are starting so with respect to this this relationship is derived and the plots are made here and here the plot has been done for n greater than 3 n 3 onwards greater than equal to 3 so here whatever you see here so it starts from n equal to 3 So the plot is done like this. So corresponding delta v, how much is required? The so total delta v is cal calculated in terms of this grazing orbit requirement. Where v g in this case, this will turn out to be v i c as we have written earlier. So this solid line then stands for the Hohmann transfer, and the dotted lines are for the bi-elliptic transfer. In the bi-elliptic transfer, r star is nothing but your n star. Okay. So n star. as you can see 15.58 if we take the for the highest value so this is the curve okay which is passing from this point itself is it near to this okay if i take higher value for the n star we have uh, remember the one where we got the intersection point that we have obtained as 9 11.94 this we did for n star equal to infinity but i cannot here work out for n star equal to infinity uh, or i could have done this but uh, uh, i have not done here in th uh, this particular graph uh, the relationship already we have written so this could have been done using that so anyway if I, i have not done it's, uh, it does not matter but you can see that there is a movement this is for n star equal to 15.58 this is the first curve and thereafter as you increase the i have increased the n star value by 10 so here this is increased by 10 next again by 10 next again by 10 next again by 10 so as i increase the value of n star this curve shifts here from this direction to this direction it goes here okay there is a shifting and the curve also it comes here in this direction you can see that uh, this the in for higher n star value here n star equal to 55.58 is the lower dotted one which is this one okay and somewhere for 11.94 where the in intersection takes place which the curve i have not shown so th that curve let us say that it comes something like this 11.94 it will come down come down and it will intersect here in this point okay so that only for that 11.9 in uh, star equal to infinity we have solved and the corresponding intersection point will come here and which you drop it on the x axis so this is your correspondingly 11.94 okay so the intersection then comes here in this place so uh, what is our conclusion that uh, then for in star equal to infinity this will go down like this that means as we are increasing the value of in star the uh, energy required is lesser than the homan transfer which is shown by the solid line okay after 
certain stage. So, here in this case after 11.94 in equal to 11.94 Hohmann transfer is better if n star is equal to 55.58, but if uh, sorry n star equal to infinity, but if n star is having other values then this point will shift their intersection point will be different okay, as it is appearing from this graph here okay. and that we need to work out. So, that cannot be done in a single equation, equation becomes very clumsy. Uh, doing it uh, numerically it is a very easy the intersection point you just plot uh, two curves and then look into for what uh, the corresponding intersection point is uh, it is uh, easy to uh, work out that. So, we stop here and uh, next time we will continue thank you very much.